Okay, let me get a number two with no cheese. Make it a large with a Dr. Pepper. You said no cheese? Or no onions. Okay. And I need a couple of hash browns. Two hash browns. Yep. I have a quarter meal large with no onions. Two hash browns. Do you do want cheese? Yes, I do want cheese. Okay. Anything else for you? Uh, nope, that's it. Can I get some extra sauces in there? Ranch and ketchup? Ranch and ketchup? Ready? 1079, first one. Thank you. Thank you. So I totally faux pawed on starting the camera early, but I'm at McDonald's. <laughs> I wasn't going to come out today, but I haven't made a video in a while. So I was hungry and I just got out of Walmart. Um, getting a few groceries, which I was there yesterday. Um, and I forgot some stuff, so I had to go back. And again, today, I forgot some stuff. I'm going to make macaroni and cheese later, and I forgot the fucking cheese. <laughs> Luckily, though, I remembered that we have some shredded sharp, sharp cheddar cheese in uh, the outside refrigerator of our RV. So, uh, y'all are just going to have to... Excuse me right here for a second. Always take your receipt. Thank you, you too. Oh my god, y'all. I'm a hot mess right now. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You better not tell me to wait. I'll be pissed. It's not busy at all. It's 1.44, so everybody should have their, their lunch already. I just woke up about, I don't know, an hour and a half ago, and <laughs> I had my day all set out and planned, right, so that I could come in to McDonald's, go grocery shopping, do my thing, and, you know, chit-chat a little bit. So, I totally did not, because I didn't fucking sleep a wink last night. Mm. I did not sleep a fucking wink last night because, excuse me, funny story, well not really funny, it's kind of uh, irritating for me, <laughs> um, let me see, I'm trying to get out of this damn parking lot, they have this parking lot so fucked up right now, it's ridiculous, you can't get in, they're doing a bunch of road work and stuff, so in the parking lot of Walmart. So that we have a Walmart Supercenter, a Taco Bueno, a McDonald's, the uh, Walmart gas station. And they've just all of a sudden to, to do the parking lot in the fucking summer, in the middle of summer, when it's 115 fucking degrees outside. And it's ridiculous. It's totally ridiculous. You know, so it's a mess. It's a mess. Everything's a mess. So anyway, um, a couple of nights ago, I made these bad ass stuffed portobello mushrooms with ribeye steak and poblano peppers and 
uh, melted mozzarella cheese, stuff like that. Okay, so the thing is, is that as it's filling in the beginning, it kind of wears off. You're not so full like an hour or so later. <laughs> so, I had actually bought some Serrano peppers, chili peppers to be exact. Serrano chili peppers on my last shopping venture. I'm always buying just weird random stuff, you know, because I like to try different foods and everything like that. And we go to this uh, sushi restaurant in Fort Worth called The Blue. And they have shishito peppers as an appetizer. Shishito peppers are mild on the scovial level, which is the heat. And they're like, they're, they're kind of like a poblano. They're not really spicy at all. Um, jalapenos are spicier than they are. Um, and they're, they're blackened a little bit and charred and kind of barbecued or whatever they do to them, but they're fucking amazing. So I have been searching all over the place around my city and town. Um, <laughs> for the, sorry, my man just texted me. I was trying to read it. Um, I've been searching all over my town city for these shishito peppers and nobody fucking carries them. So I'm going to have to order them online or something. So instead I decided to get Serrano peppers as a substitute and try that out. Unbeknownst to me, Serrano peppers are over the Scoville level of a jalapeno. Now, y'all know I love heat. I love spicy foods. Um, but I can't really say that I've had Serrano peppers before. And they were, I mean, they tasted really, really fucking good. And they were spicy as hell. And they upset my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> they were so spicy, but the concoction that I made, uh, the, the, the sauce and the garlic butter and lemon juice and soy sauce that I cooked them in after I charred them was really, really amazing. So when they were done cooking and everything and with the seeds in, you don't take the seeds out. Okay. So I left all the seeds in, charred them up, put them in the sauce, made a dipping sauce of mayonnaise, soy sauce, lemon sauce, lemon juice, and uh, some garlic powder, and some pepper, and some paprika. I think that was, that was pretty much about it. Anyway, that was equally just as fucking good. So I only made six of these little things. And mind you, they are little. I only made six because... I didn't know how they were gonna turn out. I didn't want to cook a bunch and then waste them, right? So I made six. <clears throat> well, I got my first one down, about damn near choked on it. <laughs> my man's laughing at me going, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I made these Serrano peppers like the Shishito peppers, but they're way too spicy. So what happened is that I kept dipping them in my sauce because it was kind of like a cooling aspect for the pepper itself. And I ate two more. While my mouth was burning on fire, my nose was dripping like a faucet, my eyes were watering, my lips were burning, my tongue didn't have any feeling anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I did not sleep well at all the night before last. My stomach was so upset, it was whirling. Um, they, <laughs> they gave me indigestion. They gave me gas. They hurt my stomach, they hurt my mouth. <laughs> I kind of almost got a headache as well and I was like man that's kind of fucked up like I've eaten jalapenos whole and raw and stuff like that but these serrano peppers let me tell you are no fucking joke guys Woo! so anyway over my life I have only had maybe four uh, 
cold sores, fever blisters, or whatever you want to call them, in my life. The last time I had a fever blister was about three and a half years ago, almost four years ago, and boy, let me tell you, it was a doozy. Like, it went from the side of my lip, the corner of my lip, corner of my mouth, almost halfway up to my nose right here. And I remember distinctly when I got it. I had made me some extremely like 10 time alarm salsa. I love salsas. I love fresh salsas and I love chipotles and jalapenos and you know, I think I even threw in a habanero pepper, which is even spicier than a serrano, but I figured with the tomatoes and the cilantro and the lime juice and that stuff that I would be okay. Well, I made it all. It was really good. It was so good, in fact, I ate almost the whole bowl. And <clears throat> the next morning, I woke up with a fever blister. And I was like, what the hell? I don't, <laughs> I don't remember touching anything or getting in anything. Uh, you know, kids hadn't been traipsing all over my face, drawing or, you know, picking their nose and, you know, transferring germs or anything like that. You know, I was like, oh my God, maybe I went to the grocery store and I didn't wipe down the cart good enough because I'm a stickler about that, wiping down the cart so I don't get cooties or nothing. A uh, little OCD there. And, you know, just thinking the worst of the worst, oh my God, I've been cheated on. <laughs> I've got some sort of disease or whatever. So, I doctored myself up, I guarantee you, for probably two weeks or more. Because this thing, this monster on my face would not go away on its own. And I did everything under the sun except for put toothpaste on my favorite blister. So, <laughs> I made up essential oil concoctions. I got medicine. I drank lots of water and lemon. I drank lots of milk. I, I did all kinds of stuff. I did... Indian red clay masks. I did charcoal masks. I did everything to cover this thing up. I mean, makeup even. I dried it out with witch hazel, rubbing alcohol, all kinds of shit. So anyways, that was the last time that I ever had a fever blister. The other night when I ate those fucking Serrano peppers, yesterday morning, I woke up after my man left for, he woke me up, he woke me up to say that he was leaving for work. I was like, okay. I fell back asleep for a little while. When I woke back up, my, the corner of my lip, the right side of my lip was hurting. It was kind of like, eh. It was a little tingle and stuff like that. And when, when you're susceptible to, uh, cold sores, fever blisters or whatever, well, you kind of get the sense one's coming on if you get a little tingle, a scratch. You know, you feel like you're itchy or anything like that. And um, I didn't have any of that, which was really weird. I was like, and I don't remember that the last time either. So, when I woke up, I went to the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I'll be a motherfucker if I didn't have... Uh, the onset of a breakout. What is this dude doing on my ass? I hate people like that. And I feel like slamming on my brakes. Anyways. Um, well, too bad he's got another person coming up in front of me that just turned. So, anyways. I'll be damned if I didn't go to the bathroom, get my magnifying mirror... <laughs> look at the right side corner of my mouth so weird and the onset of a fever blister was coming on it was all red it hurt it itched it tingled and I had a tiny little blister I was like fuck me man really and then it dawned on me the serrano peppers triggered the the lysine in my system that causes these. Now, I've never had an STD or anything like that, so fever blisters are totally different than cold sores in, in some ways because 
you know, you have the, the herpes virus or whatever, the HSV one. And yeah, that was not, that was not the case. I've never, you know, they're not frequent like normal people with herpes and stuff like that get outbreaks. Mine's like, you know, the first time I had one, I was 15 or 17, something like that. And then the next time, or no, the first time I was like 11, the next time I was 17, the third time I was, uh, well, that was three and a half years ago. <laughs> so yeah, that's dating me right now. So I'm 46. So yeah, I was 42, 42, almost four years. So yeah, 42 years old. So now yesterday waking up, so it's very sporadic. So it dawned on me, it's the fucking peppers that triggered it. I was like, I'll be damned. So I was researching, 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 and you know, I was like, okay, let me just research, you know, can certain hot chili peppers cause fever blisters or cold sores, or, you know, an outbreak or something like that, irritate your mouth in such a sense? And lo and behold, yes. And I was totally unaware of that because I grew up eating spicy foods. I'm part Mexican, Spanish, whatever you want to call it. I'm part Spanish, sorry. Um, you know, and, and German and Indian. So I've, I've been raised with spicy foods. So as the day grew on, so did my fever blister. So now there's like three little things down here and like it, they say stay out of the sun as it could irritate it more for some reason. I don't know, which I didn't know that. And I went tanning yesterday like a dumbass. Um, and I think it actually, <laughs> it actually got a little bigger. So today knowing that I was going to come out and do this stuff, it, I was irritated with myself because I haven't made a video in a while purely because of the fact I was on my period. I didn't feel good. I felt like shit and I just could not be bothered. I was just having one of those weeks, you know, I just could not be bothered to make a fucking video and I just wasn't in the mood to do so. Wasn't in the mood. So here I am in my exciting world of my cold sore. <laughs> so now I'm home to my little mansion. Oops, sorry. Now I'm home to my little mansion. I've got my McDonald's. I've got my groceries from Walmart. I'm going to load up everything inside and then we're going to get down to grubbing and I'll finish telling you my story of the peppers. Okay guys, I'm back. I just got in and loaded everything, put everything away. Now it's time to eat. Sorry, my head's cutting off. Um, kind of sitting down a little lower than usual, but you get the drift. So I've got my big jack of pepper. It tastes so good. Got my delicious fries. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, we're a little cold right now. It tastes me good. Ten minutes to get to the store around here. Ten, fifteen minutes, depending on traffic. Mmm. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I'll put you down here. Not where you can see. I'm still cutting myself off. Yeah. Okay napkins surprisingly because they never ever ever give you any fucking napkins because the ranches and ketchup yummy hash browns i love mcdonald's hash browns my quarter pounder with no onions i've been craving this shit for like a week and i don't know why i really don't like mcdonald's I really don't That's all I got. Like, I really don't eat a whole lot, y'all. I really don't. So, I'm just gonna, all right. So, there's,
Oh my god, I cannot get this right at all. Fuck it. Fuck it, man. Whatever. So, anyway, between not wanting to do anything video-wise for like a week, then when I finally want to, I eat some fucking serrano peppers and ended up getting a fever blister. So, yeah, it hasn't been, <laughs> this past week and a half has not been good. It's been almost two weeks, I think, since I made my last video. Oh, ketchup and ranch. That's one of my favorite combinations is ketchup and ranch. Mix it together. Dip your fries in it. Dip, dip your chicken nuggets in it. Chicken tenders, whatever you want to call it. I love it. Dip your hash browns, which I'm fixing to do. I'm just putting all this ketchup together here. Ugh. I'm so hungry. I almost, almost, almost did not get off my ass out of bed and go to the store and go to McDonald's. And I also debated on making a video. I also debated on... Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. I've just I've been in a, a debate mode for a while. So, anyways, I don't know. I have not had a uh, a quarter pounder in a long, long time. But one thing I I love McDonald's fries. So, am I? fever blister catastrophe. I was able to cover it up a little bit with makeup. But it's growing. <laughs> so I figured I better do this video and McDonald's thing now before it gets way out of, out of control and out of hand. That it's so visible that I'd be totally embarrassed to do anything or go anywhere. I mean, I know shit happens and it's life. Whatever you want to call it. But, mmm, ketchup, ranch. Mmm. So good. So good, y'all. Mmm. I love their hash browns. kind of soggy though. I guess maybe because it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's afternoon time. I don't know where it is where y'all are, but what it is, what time it is where y'all are, but it's in the afternoon here. I didn't know that McDonald's did all day, all day breakfast either until I saw somebody's mukbang. <laughs> and they were ordering breakfast at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I was like, hey, I gotta get my ass over there and give me some hash browns. Because my ass does not be getting up early enough to go eat breakfast anywhere. Oh, I love me some Dr. Pepper. I drink Coke all the time now because I drink it with my whiskey. But man, when I get the chance to get Dr. Pepper when I'm out, even if it's like a, you know, one of those 20 ounces or whatever that you get in the coolers at the store, or if I go through a drive-thru, it's on. I'm getting it. I love Dr. Pepper. I love it. So the thing with these cold sores and stuff, they're, they're, they're motherfuckers. They take forever to go away. They're unsightly. They're just nasty. And like being that it's in the corner of my my mouth, I can I can't really open it too too wide. Cause it fucking hurts. Not everybody gets them, but they're very they're pretty common. All right, let's get in. Look at that. That's a homely ass, that is a homely ass looking quarter pounder. 
Uh, look at that. That's, that's pitiful, McDonald's. Pitiful. I mean, they got cheese on the top, cheese on the bottom. Look at that. That's just, that's horrible. Horrible. I thought they came with lettuce and tomatoes. Or, oh, that's the Whopper. I love Whoppers. Alright. Let's see if I can get this big mouth of mine open. <laughs> I mean, it's not that that thick, wide, whatever you want to call it. But it's just my mouth hurts. Not at all what I was hoping for. Although, the meat tastes different than what it used to. Now it tastes like it's been grilled. So, anyways. Alright, so enough about my bullshit adventures here with my my unsightly friend here on my face. What have y'all been up to? It's Tuesday. Uh, everybody have a, a good Monday, first start of the week. I know I hear people complaining all the time. It's fucking Monday. I hate Mondays. I can't wait for Friday. Well, Monday's every week, so you gotta deal with it. Mm. It's not too bad. We did not do anything at all this weekend. Not one damn thing. Well, I went and got my nails done. And my toes. Manny, Petty, full set. Then I went tanning yesterday. I got a membership and went tanning. It's so hot here and humid. So hot and humid. It's beautiful though. There's no clouds in the sky. Although I kind of wish there was some clouds in the sky so it would shade the sun a little bit from my uh my little RV. Mm. Man, it's been forever since I've had McDonald's. So I have a couple of new adventures that I'm gonna be doing. I'm kind of excited about first time. So we live in a really small town, okay? I mean, when I say small, okay, Texas, there's a lot of small towns, a lot of small western towns or whatever, but we live um, south of Fort Worth. <coughs> used to be really country, used to be real small, but now it's overpopulated. So there's probably, I don't know, a good 36, maybe 40,000 people that live here now. And we have just just recently in the past oh, I don't know three months three four months or whatever had Grubhub and DoorDash deliveries to our RV park <laughs> so they weren't they have not been available to us and we're right kind of in the middle of our little town on the outskirts so, like I said earlier, when I want to go somewhere to the stores or anything like that, it takes me a good 10-15 minutes. So, I actually applied to one, which is Instacart, 
which is going grocery shopping. You get paid for grocery shopping for other people that can't go grocery shopping themselves, you know, like the elderly, disabled, um, the people that, you know, work nine to five, have kids, and they're just, you know, uh, not, not able to go to the grocery store as often as they'd like or whatever, so they just put in their order online, and I go grocery shopping for them, and then I take it to them. And so I applied to that and my, uh, my debit card is on its way. So I should have that in a few days and let you guys know. And I'm also going to start driving possibly for Grubhub because we've been ordering from them for the past few months, you know, quite a bit, like every other weekend or something like that or if we feel really lazy and just don't want to cook or anything like that twice a week. They make some good money around here. Now, let me tell you something about the Instacart. The Instacart sent me an email yesterday saying that I could up my pay scale and make a $30 bonus if I signed on to be able to to deliver alcohol as well as groceries. I was like, really? Me? <laughs> deliver alcohol? Sure, no problem. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to start doing. And when you refer friends and stuff like that, then you get paid, they get paid, everybody gets a bonus for signing up and everything like that. So once I get started, I'll leave the links and everything like that um, on my in my descriptions you know it's small space in here I used to paint I ran out of room because I painted all these paintings and then I had nowhere to put them all <laughs> so they're just sitting in a, a couple of big tubs and storage right now um what else what else what else what else what else um uh, I don't know uh, I started doing cooking videos those are mainly the very first videos that I've done and, you know, just now starting to do these, these mukbang. Videos. They're so much better when they're hot. <laughs> so much better when they're hot. Still not bad. I don't know. I just, I love the independency of it. Because you can pick your own hours, schedules, days. If you don't want to work, you don't have to. You know, they send you um, an order. And you can accept it or decline it. So... You know, if you have kids, or you do have another job, you don't have to accept them. You just go on to the next one. But with Instacart, you do have to set a set schedule as far as, like, what, I guess, I guess what they call it is your, your shifts. So if you want to work from, like, 7 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon, and then you just kind of wait around until you get pinged. And then you get an order in. Like, you could sit at home. If you live in the middle of the city, say, say like, if I lived right downtown Fort Worth or, or Dallas or something like that, and there was a couple of local grocery stores and people that were ordering from right there, I could be at home sitting, doing my, my mukbangs or whatever, and pause those, go pick up my orders, deliver them, come back. So, it's actually, it's actually pretty, pretty good. As to any business, there's lots of pros and cons, right? So, I don't know. <sighs> so, last week, I did actually, I lost a pound and a half. But, apparently I'm putting it back on today.
love me some hash browns. Today is my daughter's birthday. Everybody say happy birthday, Rebel. She is 11 today. I love her so much. She'll be here this weekend. So I don't know what we're going to do yet. She's 11. What do 11 year olds like to do? Especially 11 year old little girls who don't like dresses and dressing up and Barbies anymore. Like she loves gamings and um, she wears hoodies. I mean, she wears hoodies in the middle of summer now and I don't know. I don't know what's happened to her. She used to be such a sweet little girl. But I don't know. I gotta figure that out. I have to figure that out. See what she wants to do. Alright. I'm let down by these fries, y'all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everybody's having a great day. A great week. And remember, wherever you are, keep a smile on your face and smile till it hurts. Because when you smile, when you smile so much, for no reason at all, it makes people very, very leery and wondering what the hell you're up to. And think you're crazy. So, keep that in mind. Especially when somebody's pissed you off. Just smile. Just smile. Uh-huh. I'm watching you, motherfucker. I'm watching you. Just smile. Kill them with kindness. It hurts. Man, it hurts. Pride, man. Pride hurts sometimes. But, you keep doing it, all good things will come. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to start doing more. As soon as this thing goes away. I have a feeling it's going to blossom out. So I might not be on here for a while. Unless I can cover it up. <laughs> Unless I can cover this fucking thing up. Oh my god. I'm so pissed off. I'm so mad at myself. I almost burnt the fucking... RV down too while I was cooking the damn peppers. So that should have been an indication as to bad things, bad things to come. I was like, oh, 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 fire! <laughs> bad fire! <laughs> oh my god, life is funny, y'all. You just gotta ride it out. Ride that motherfucker out until you explode. No matter the hardships or what's going on in your life, enjoy that journey. Whether it's fucked up or not, it's your journey. So take it as it is. Take it as it comes and just live it. Make sure you take care of you. Because ain't nobody else going to do it but you. <sighs> I tell my daughter that all the time. Even though she's 11. She's like, what? what? I don't understand that. You will. Love y'all. Take care. <laughs>